So as you can tell by the title, today's video will be how to dress up a simple black blazer for the fall. So making a black blazer fall appropriate. <music> Hey you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Shaquita, Beauty with Queen here on Queen TV. We're over here, we're doing fashion first and then beauty second. So if that's content that interests you, you may want to consider watching this video in its entirety. And if you like what you see, subscribe if you haven't already. To all my current subscribers, hi. Thank you for coming back. And we're just gonna jump right into today's video. So first I started off with this outfit and we have like a yellow or a mustardy bodycon dress that I got from Fashion Nova. And I just chose to put it with a nice blazer. As you can see, the blazer stops like at my hip line, just about. And then it has a quarter of a sleeve. Um, I'm not really into long sleeve blazers. I like, if it is long sleeve, I will tuck it to this. So the fact that I was able to find a blazer that already had the tuck sleeves to make it a quarter of a sleeve is an absolute plus for me. And as you can see, it just dresses up. This bodycon dress makes it nice and professional. If you're that type of chick, you may want to pair it with like a duster instead if you're not really a blazer type of girl. But for us who are, because I do love blazers, even though I don't wear them a lot, because my life doesn't really permit a blazer, but you best believe if it did, I would wear something like this. It's not really too much to say about it. When picking my blazers, I like for it to kind of like contour to the shape of my body. I don't like it too boxy. So try to keep that in mind, especially if you're a curvy chick, to make sure that your blazers are kind of like contouring to your body. So if you were to button them up and you see how it still like hugs my curves and everything, that is something that you want to look for when it comes into your blazers. So this is just nice and simple. You can throw this on with the straw hat or a fedora hat, or you can do a scarf on one of those little silk-like scarves with the little designs on it. You can do something like that with this outfit. I will pair some booties with this, some nice little boots with the peak toe on them, and a nice little handbag. Or you can even throw crossbody if you're feeling laid back like that because I picture crossbodies being like a laid back type of accessory. And you can really do it good, do it up <laughs> and good. And then you can have like your little layered little gold necklaces to put on with it. Or however, you know, the style is unlimited with something like this. So this is the first outfit. You know, it's just nice and you can get a little sex in this because of where the, the dress stops, which is right to my knees. So it gives it a little sexiness, but it also gives it a little professionalism at the same time, period. <laughs> so that is this one. Okay, so this is the next outfit. So I was looking for like a two-piece outfit, like a kind of like a loungewear type of outfit um, to give you what give you an illusion of what I'm talking about. You can take like your random two-piece sets and throw a blazer on this. And as you can see, it really upgrades the look. This is kind of like a silvery cucumber type of color set. If you watch my Fashion Nova video a while back, I did show this two-piece set. Um, so I just want to kind of like give you an idea that you could take your matchy-matchy sets and pair it with a blazer and it really elevates your look. And as you can see, it looks very fashion forward. It looks very professional. It is fall appropriate in my opinion. It gives you like that rustic yet metallic type of feel with your outfit really upgrades it give you some texture it has like the small little crinkles in the outfit so it just 
you know, really gives you what you're looking for when you want to look nice and put together. You can wear this on a date with your cute clutch and some heels, showing some toe action and everything. And you can really just do the outfit up. And, of course, per usual, I will go ahead and show you some examples of some accessories that you can throw on with this outfit. And I really do think it's cute and appropriate and, of course, plus size friendly that you can really rock. And I will try to find examples of each outfit that I wear. That way, I can put links below so that you can kind of purchase something similar to what I have on in this video. Again, I'll try. I ain't making no promises. I'll see how far I get with that. So, that is this outfit. Okay, you guys. So, this is the next outfit that I chose to do. Like, some FICO shorts. Really, this is my girdle. Yeah. But just imagine you wear some biker shorts under this and then pair it with a nice little long white blouse with the blazer. It'll give you kind of like a dress up, dress down in one type of outfit. And it really gives you some layer and some depth to your outfit because you have the blazer that stops right here at the hips. Then you have this that stops a little longer. And if you have some biker shorts, of course, they'll probably stop like right above the knee. So you have like a three layering effect for your outfit. And it really would just totally give you a good vibe for this outfit. Again, you can style it to any way. You can wear you a bun. You can wear you a long pony, a long braided pony. You know, nice sleek ponytail. You can wear your hair wild and free. However you wish and you look totally and perfectly stylish and trendy for this fall. Again, I love to wear black and white, especially for the fall. Um, I just think to put those two colors together, they work well for this time of the year. So this is this outfit. I got the shirt from H&M. The jacket, I don't remember. And then again, these are just leggings, but we're going to pretend like they're biker shorts for the sake of the video okay and also if you're not one who really likes the whole biker shorts with the blouse you can always do some skin tight leggings to go with the outfit and that way it'll make you feel more covered up and secure because i understand not everyone like biker shorts because it's tight and it's kind of short and you know you might feel uncomfortable so i just want to give you another option where you're still layering up the pieces with the blazer the blouse, and the leggings, and it tapers around your ankle. So this would be another option. I just want to throw that out there in, in, in case if the whole biker short thing scare you, because it did scare me at first, being a plus-size girl wearing biker shorts. I'm like, uh, no, I do not have the body for that. Yeah, when I first started up, oh, when I first started, you know, trying to gain my confidence back as a plus-sized woman, I used to look at biker shorts like, uh, no, that is not for me. You know, I don't have the body, but since it's all in your confidence level, and then don't forget you have this oversized blouse that is kind of like covering maybe your insecurity spot for you um, on your body. And then two, to give it a little bit more dimension, you can tuck uh, one side, and then it just gives it like, kind of like a sloppy light look with the outfit. I know it's about the blazer, but you know, we got to think about style as well. You know, so I think that is very cute. And you just tuck it out like that and it just gives you that whole, I don't care, but I'm still that chick type of look. So this is this one. Okay, so next up will be this faux leather skirt paired with the same shirt that I just had on previously with the black blazer. Now, this is like very, very cute. Again, like we talked about in the last video, it's all about texture. You have this, this blazer, which is like a cotton type of material. Then you have... This one is, which is like that blousy type of material, like see-through. And then you have the faux leather giving you some shininess, if you will. So as you can see, we were able to layer up the textures in this outfit. And of course, you can wear you some studded booties, some studded shoes, and it'll totally 
offset and take it up another notch when it comes to layering the textures in your outfit. And I think this is very professional. I think this is very fashion forward, very simple because you're only working with black and white. And I know this is one of the most easiest colors for someone who's getting into fashion black and white because you can play it up however you want and it still gives you some sexiness for all the ones who don't want to be too sexy but you know you want to leave something to the imagination for your man so this is this outfit and of course when you're rocking you know blazers a-line skirts always give you that nice sophisticated look in your outfit so I really am in love with this one. Next. Okay, you guys. So next up is you have to do a colorful, some type of pop of color when you're doing a blazer. I mean, you don't have to, but it's another classic that you would do with a blazer. I don't have any fall color uh, skirts, which I need to look for. But I did find this little nice little... Uh, I don't know what type of purple you would call it per se. It's like a pink, like a purple. And this would be like the pop of color that goes with the blazer. So I think this is like very cute, still fashion for, you can wear this anywhere, wear it at church, on a date, what have you. And I just, again, packed it with this blouse and the colorful skirt. And as you can tell, the different fitting when it comes to that faux leather skirt and then this one like this one kind of flares out a little bit and then the four the faux leather one kind of like contours to the body like that a-line type of style so yeah this is another way that you can style up the black blazer and still be nice and professional and fashion for for all my plus size divas okay so next i have with the jeans of course, jeans and blazer is another, again, classic. You have your jeans, it gives it a business casual type of look. Um, you can pack with any shirt. You can do like a graphic shirt, uh, a pop of color type of t-shirt, either crew neck, v-neck, or a swoop neck t-shirt. Um, I like to, if I'm going to wear jeans, I like to do more of a graphic tee. I didn't really feel like going through my closet to look for one. But you get the point. Or you can do a blouse again. Gives it a nice step up from your just regular t-shirt and jeans type of outfit. It really adds another element to your outfit. So again, you just can't go wrong with a black blazer girl. If you don't have one, go ahead and invest in one. And you don't have to spend a large amount of money. Not unless you're really, really that type of blazer chick where you want it to be like high quality. But as you can see, I'm able to dress this up high class and high quality. So there's this outfit. Okay, you guys, so this is the next outfit. As you can see, I paired it with like matchy matchy, but not exactly the same tone of olive green. As you can see, this is more of a olive green and then this one has like a different undertone so i like to match up my colors sometimes when i rock a blazer and it just gives it a nice look casual look you can style this up any way you want with sneakers sandals booties boots um open toe heels peep toe heels however you want to style this up and I think this would be like very nice and casual you can definitely take this on a girls night out or a date night and really style it up with your accessories I can see pairing some leopard print with this or some snake print with this and it'll really give you a nice little sophisticated little accent to your outfit so again you have like an a-line skirt that kind of like contours to the body and then goes narrow as it goes towards your knees and then you have like your just basic crew neck t-shirt where you can tuck it in just to give it a nice little sleek look and you got yourself an outfit chick and then you know of course your earrings and your accessories and then you're good to go to go out the door and do whatever it is that you have to do for that day so this is this outfit 
Okay, so last but certainly not least, you have the baby doll dress paired with the blazer. This is another classic. With this, I see myself pairing it with some white converses with the blue, I believe, black stripe around the bottom part of it, the perimeter of it. I think that would be very cute with some nice little glasses, you know, the thick frame, kind of like a cream color frame with the marbling throughout. I think that would be totally dope with this outfit. Or some plain clear glasses, like a uh, dress-up glasses with the gold frame. That would be pretty dope also with this outfit. And then you can pair it with a nice little clutch or a crossbody since we're talking about dressing it up casually or you can do some sandals with this and then probably do your little la layered necklaces or you know however you decide to dress it up so this is the last piece you might have remember a lot of these outfits you might remember from previous hauls i'll try to link them all up in the cards above and this just has black stripes throughout it out it and then the shoulders kind of like flare out just a little bit. So yeah, you can throw on your blazer and still be cute and casual for your day. But the blazer just kind of upgrades your look. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If so, you already know what to do. Thumbs it up and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you click the bell to be notified each and every time I upload. Um, I have been told that... Even though you guys are pressing the bell, YouTube is not suggesting my videos. So just check back on my channel ever so often to see if I upload. It's all. Make sure you are follow me on Instagram at beauty underscore with underscore queen. And follow me for these same looks but in a photo version. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thank you.